It is one of the most eagerly awaited days on the footballing calendar. It's the day when teams turn up for work with a spring in their step. First time in this competition this season, a genuine sense of occasion, a bit of fanfare that goes with it. The mood is upbeat, laced with a dose of nerves, which must be expected. The team news is in, the teams themselves will be with us shortly. The atmosphere predictably wonderful. Well, Real Plate have always been considered the uptown club amongst those in the Argentine capital, but the supporters, believe me, are no less passionate or loud. The imperative for everyone, three points on opening day. Well, Peter, I can tell you that both managers will have stressed the need for a very strong start here. Both have also indicated a, a front-foot approach. If that is the case, then I don't think we're going to be complaining at the end. I certainly hope we'll be eulogising. There's an awful lot resting on this, and we'll probably end up reflecting on that. the whistle and here we go and it's Skoko Goma he's gone for it and oh he's delivered all right a right from the first whistle they've played with an energy that makes them good value for that early goal and that is about as cool as they come he picked his spot expertly well, you know, sometimes it pays off not to think too much about things, just put your foot through it, and that was a good example. Great contact, and the keeper had very little chance. River Plate ahead, one goal to the good. Good ball. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Yeah, that's top defending in preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. He's had a go! And he heaves it forward. Shoots! Really well taken goal. Hot knife through butter. They have done it again. River Plate are really pouncing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. River Plate have a couple of goals without reply. It's 2-0. No doubt as to who has the momentum here now. The only doubt is how many is coming. River Plate are looking pretty solid right now in a period of the game when they have been vulnerable. The clearance is very necessary. And that had to be more accurate. Universidad Católica seem happy to let their strikers roam out wide. I wouldn't want that. No? Oh, well, my worry is that their, their main threat is being shifted out of contention. Uh, needed a better pass there.
Bilja. Forward it goes. And the through ball is intercepted. Ball's loose, who's getting there? He's left his man. Chip through. Last ditch defending, but that'll do. Garay tries to get it forward quickly. Timely intervention. Now it's Skoko. Over to the left. Going through. Big chance! And he's there to make a great save. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. And it's hoisted clear. Just whacks it away. Shoots! Saved only by poor finishing. Well, Peter, I would say it was worth a try. Plays it out to the flank. More than happy to take the muscular approach. Looking for space out wide. He acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Oh, that just required a bit more oomph to reach its target. And we've reached half-time. That's the first half compared with your expectation. River play are two up and everything is shaping nicely. The only criticism, it could have been three. River Plate go in at half-time on a comfortable two-goal cushion. Already up and running for the second half. Oh, good interception. Tried to play it through. Yeah, the idea was right. The delivery wasn't. They can revisit that further on. He's made sure that that won't get through. Gomez. Skoko plays it out to the wing. He's got away. Goes for goal. The lead is extended still further. And however many surrounded him, that is what he can do. Ignacio Scocco demonstrated great strength there. I mean, he really had to hold his man off and just create enough room for him to be able to get the shot away. And I think it's just top, top play. He's made it two, and no doubt he's hungry for more. River Plate take a three-goal lead, and they are romping out of sight. This is promising. Well, the ball's come loose, and the chase is on. And it's Gomez. Out to the left it goes. Now it's Skoko. They're actually not getting too tight, which is interesting. Has a swing at it! Skoko. Played out to the right. Gets it upfield. Aimed long and direct. Now that does look a foul if he's given a free kick. And that's going to be a booking. Well, no doubt someone is being given special treatment here. Yeah, and the fact that he's red... And the shot! What about it? Surely now they are well and truly out of sight. He snaffles his third, and that earns him the match ball. This is one of the best performances I've seen in a while. He's practically taken on this team single-handedly.
and they don't know how to stop him. Time for a change in personnel. Yeah, their position is a, a dominant one now, Peter, so introducing one of the youngsters for some added experience is bang on. River Plate tear their opponents apart once again. They are utterly ruthless. And he's going long. And the assistant referee rightly gives him offside. His anticipation is good, Peter, but his timing isn't. He read the situation and then went and spoiled it. And it's Gomez. Ball through needs to be good here. And he's there to hoof it away. Away. Can he score? Prato, Aspas, Yago Aspas really got caught in a trap there and he just couldn't get out. throw in well you have to feel a little for the player been taken off here I think he's been made the scapegoat after that but I guess something had to be done I suppose it did need a little change it's good progress he's made on the ball where to next and it's Aspas Going through. He'll have a dip. He's put it wide. Well, talking about a man on a mission, that was a super effort. And the referee's pulled play back and has booked him for the original offence. River Plate, their final change. I think you have to admire his willingness to keep plugging away, but the manager has, has done him a big favour, I think, by, by taking him off. You know, he was looking very, very leggy. Out wide to the right. Well, Red, he sorted that out. Well, that's a foul, free kick's been given. Point. Billia. Forward it goes. And it's Gomez. Pushes it out wide. Aspas. Has a hit! He scored! A contest no more. It is nothing short of utter humiliation. It's part of the game, Peter. It has to get ruthless. Sympathy just doesn't play a part. No question now as to who is in control. Two minutes to be added on. Plays it out to the wing. That wasn't the greatest of balls. And that is it. The referee has seen enough. River Plate starts as they wanted to start. All three points, the first three points, crucial. So what do you take away from it all, Jim? Well, pressure can quickly build on you if a positive result isn't achieved in your opening group match. Instead, they can take great confidence...
absolutely, wherever you are on this uh, most pleasant evening. There has been a clamour to get inside the ground tonight for a much-anticipated game. The uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic. The car parks are full. There is a torrent of humankind making its way from the nearby station. And we expect every seat to be filled. An atmosphere of uh, great expectation and excitement. So what a stage for the players to take to here ahead of such an important game. It appears to be a 4-4-2 formation, Jim. Well, what I like about this system, Peter, is the way in which both central midfielders have to work in tandem. If one opts to go forward, the other sits, and when one moves either side to snuff out an attack, the other will, will hold the central ground. Communication is obviously vital to make it a success, but this team knows what it's doing, and I think we're going to see that reflected. So it's away we go then. Estudiantes must be pretty concerned about this fixture pileup. Yeah, and when you've got fixture congestion, it only takes. Is it in? It's the wrong outcome. Yeah, he may have snatched at that a bit, even though it was quite close. Stuani, River Plate have been scoring with pleasing consistency. Goals in each of the last five games. Can't get the better of his opposite number. Good interception away from immediate danger. Estudiantes have made some interesting moves in getting their fullbacks to tuck in. A bright approach, isn't it? Yeah, so many fullbacks now just want to get forward, Peter. He's making good use of his has a hit! Trying to get there. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. So who's he picking out? Loose ball. Regardless of the outcome, it is good to see someone running at the defence like that. Stuani. River Plate still to register a shot on target. Some good stubborn defending there. It's come loose. Drilled in low. Into Perez. And it's Stuani. Hoists it high. And it's hoisted clear. Who's ball? Who's going to get there? Time to deliver. Delivery, almost a perfect outcome. He had a good feel of the, the whole situation, and he's acknowledged the service. And the referee has brought play back and showed him a yellow card. Estudiantes have it back and they can go again goes long this is gone, that's a foul and that's been levered clear But subtlety, he's launched himself there. For a moment you felt that was going somewhere, but they'll have to go again. Go 
Thiago Aspas. Aspas. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Well, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Very well to intervene. And it's Stuani. Now it's Aspas. Well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Good ball. And the shot! He's scored! Half time rapidly approaching. That could be a big one. And however many surrounded him, that is what he can do. Oh, this fella's as slippery as a needle the way he freed himself to score. I mean, for that defence, it was a case of now you've got him, now you don't. Brilliant. River Plate get themselves into the lead. Yeah, and they know there's plenty of work left in this one, Peter, before they can actually say that the job is over. And the ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. Referee's had a look, and he's blown his whistle for half-time. And there we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half. But there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Some first half courts. River play haven't played that badly. Getting caught again on the counter attack is unlikely. They're switched on to that and still very much in this game. River Plate. He's had a shot. Aspas has a goal. Gets good distance on it. of accuracy Aspas Pinto Perez Aspas and he's cut it out Georgia averse it for now did well to step in there that was more than necessary no, no way through there Brushed off the ball there. Had a foul? Yes, the referee's given it. With a delicate ball. Chance to... Has a swing at it! But this is exactly the approach they have to take now, Peter. Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this. It really is a question of needs must. Well, there's no two ways about it. This is what they have to do. Gets it into the middle. Last ditch defending, but that'll do. Given a corner. <laughs> Managed to get it away. Forward it goes. This defence is, is weary about opposition pace. So they're just not getting too tight. Yeah, they know that if they, they step up, their, their keeper could get a whole lot busier. <laughs> He is not one readily to admit defeat. Don't be surprised if he tries that again. Perez set up one goal so far. And it's 
it's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Tries to get it forward quickly. Well, decisiveness has deserted them, Peter. They need precision, and it's sadly option. Has he picked him out? Hits one! And he's there to hoof it away. There's a real appetite from them to finally put this game to bed, but will they? And it's hoisted clear. Changes then in quick succession. They've played it short. A well played. He's taken that really cleanly. Aimed long and direct. And they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. Forward it goes. Duardi. The final. Yeah, he's fouled in there. Gets it back. Well, he's going to be pulled back for that one. There's obvious upset over that challenge. You can see the players face to face. Let's hope this doesn't escalate. Oh, look, Peter, what they need now are, are cool heads and discipline, and instead it looks like they've got a liability in their side. He's having a go. Oh, what a save. He had a long way to go. Absolutely terrific. Terrific reflexes. Goalkeeping at its very best. And it's Stuani. Confirmation that there will be two minutes stoppage time. Room for a shot. He's left his man. And that has been clubbed away. And that is that. What a game. End to end, it flew by, and in the end, it all came down to just the odd goal. Yeah, clean sheets and hard grind will help you go places, and they have a resolve that'll envy many. So many thanks to Jim Beglin. That's all we have time for. Good evening to you.
Well, good evening to you and uh, welcome on this most perfect evening for a game of football. Conditions are absolutely splendid and the folk of this town have come out in their droves for this match. Why wouldn't they? It is an ideal circumstance for what could be an ideal game. Everybody has been attracted to it. It has been the talk of the town and uh, the buses have been packed. Double-decker buses lining up outside. Coaches have carried thousands of away supporters here too and uh, all of it adds up to make a terrific a crackling atmosphere the match I think will be quite a spectacle well River Plate have always been considered the uptown club amongst those in the Argentine capital but the supporters believe me are no less passionate or loud and if you did just miss it we are up and running already Stuani gets good distance on it. Battles to win it back. River Plate have won their last five home games. Uh, they're guilty of lacking inventiveness here. It's all broken down. And it's Gomez over to the left. Ball's gone out of play. Forward it goes. River Plate won a tight game last time out and looked to build on that. Tries to get it forward quickly. Midway through the first half and there's an impotence about this game that's causing me concern and and probably most of the stadium too. Let's just hope that by the end, it'll have been forgotten. Oh, good interception. Now a chance to break. And that is as far as they're going to go. Goes direct to the front line. Lobs it in gently. A delightful ball. He's on his way. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Peter, we can only applaud that quality of tackle in the circumstances. It was probably goal-saving. And the assistant referee has his flag raised for offside. And they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. Aimed long and direct. And he's going long. Uh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. The movement was good, but the pass lacked authority. Uh, a cause of mild frustration. Striding forward for this one! That is wayward. Well, the most exciting sight on a football pitch. He had too much trickery for that defence. Brilliant. Stuani. Played out to the right. It's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Tried to play it through. Oh, Peter, his body shape was a giveaway before he made the pass and its obviousness was, was appreciated. Chance to break. Big chance! Again, 
Let me mention what a wonderful stop the goalkeeper pulled off there. Really wonderful. And the first half is done. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. River Plate head to the dressing room, not yet having broken through. Tight cagey game. Not the team any further forward than they were when they started out. Already up and running for the second half. A tight old game so far. Can that? He's gone for it! Back of the net! The second half off to a spectacular start. And however many surrounded him, that is what he can do. Oh, this fella's as slippery as a needle the way he freed himself to score. I mean, for that defence, it was a case of, now you've got him, now you don't. Brilliant. River Plate take the lead, 1-0. Well, whatever the manager said in that dressing room at half-time, it's worth the treat. Stuani kings it out wide. And the finish! And he's there to make a great save. The keeper really dug out his defence then, a magnificent effort. and goes back he's had a shot good first touch and almost as good a second ah that's a great effort there was very little backlift to indicate what was coming gets it back forward it goes This defence is, is weary about opposition pace. So they're just not getting too tight. Yeah, they know that if they, they step up, their, their keeper could get a whole lot busier. Stuani plays it out to the wing. Who's loose? Who's getting there? Well, that's been one straight back. So, Jim, what are you thinking? Yeah, the ride is still a bit bumpy, Peter, so they're chasing the cushion of a second goal. To safety. Stuani. He's gone for it. Really well taken goal. A two goal cushion, and it's looking safe. Well, how's that for a class finish? Ah, oh, that's just clever. He made the keeper think he was going one way, only to outfox him by going the other. Very nice. He's made it two, and no doubt he's hungry for more. River Plate get themselves a two-goal cushion. Well, that second goal has given them so much more command and confidence now, and they should be able to take it on from here and either add to their lead or, or close it out. Surely they'll manage one or the other. It's a loose ball. Keeper goes long. He's through the middle. Goes for goal! Oh, it's a stunning goal! Oh, that is a gem! Oh, look, the keeper didn't know whether he was coming or going in the end, and he just got lost. This is threatening to become a really good game. It was important they didn't get ahead of themselves and lose their discipline. This game plan could near well reward them with an equaliser. Back into the middle, and he's cut it out. Tries to get it forward quickly. He's got options out wide. Going through. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now.
Oh, he's got a crucial block in there. Peter, they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads to still deliver. Truthfully, it was hard to see any better outcome there. Look forward, what does he try from here? To Gomez! And he nearly went all the way. Well, the run was really impressive. The finish was depressive, and expectations were not met. So, time for changes on both sides, actually. River Plate just have to run down the clock. Gomez. River Plate probably could have killed things off, but they should be OK here. Looking to get there first. Aimed long and direct. Gomez. Has a pop! No mistake! And surely now, the result's beyond doubt. River play are really pouncing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. River Plate could not have picked them. And time is up. River Plate did it. Terrific team effort to satisfy both the boss and the fans. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? Yeah, and a result that was true to form. A big team beating a, a not-so-big team. And a lesson dealt.